dear students, welcome to the channel Use with Biology. Today we are going to study animal tissue. Animal tissue is of four different types: epithelial tissue, connective tissue, muscular tissue, and nervous tissue. We have already done epithelial tissue in detail, and today we are going to start connective tissue. So let's get started. Connective tissue, because this we have already done. Okay, connective tissue is further of five types. First one is areolar connective tissue. So CT means connective tissue. Next we have adipose connective tissue. Next, dense regular connective tissue. Fourth one is Skeletal connective tissue. The last one is fluid connective tissue. We have already done first three types, and in today's video, we will study skeletal connective tissue in detail. Skeletal connective tissue, which is also called supportive connective tissue, it forms endo uh, endoskeleton of vertebrates. Actually, skeletal connective tissue is of further two types. It is it composed of bone and cartilage. Okay. Now we are going to study these two in detail. First of all, let us study cartilage. See, cartilage is solid and firm. It is elastic. It is same like cheese. It's not wrong if you compare cartilage with the cheese. You all have seen cheese. It is firm, but it has some elasticity. Okay, how this is possible? So I'm going to make a diagram of the cartilage. First of all, cartilage has widely spaced out cells in its matrix. So here I'm showing this dotted structure. This is matrix, okay, which is made up of proteins, and it is slightly hardened by salts of calcium. Okay, here in this matrix. there are widely spaced out cells which are called lacunae these are actually lacunae there is no proper pattern like randomly you have to show these okay see this is the matrix that is dotted one and these are actually lacunae these are fluid filled spaces which are widely spaced out in the matrix in the lacunae this is fluid filled space inside lacunae there are cartilaginous cells that is these are called chondrocytes okay matrix is made up of proteins and have salts of calcium it is we can say like cartilage is not as hard as bone it is not as soft as muscle slight hardness is due to the salts of calcium otherwise basically it is made up of proteins now where you find cartilage in the body see have you ever thought how you are able to twist your ear i hope your teacher or your parents might have twisted your ear number of times so just think give it a thought how this is possible ear pinna which you are able to twist that is because of cartilage so this we are discussing occurrence or location of cartilage okay it is found in ear pinna and what about the tip of nose at the tip of nose also you find cartilage here at the tip of nose in the ear pinna or ear lobe there is cartilage next to it okay let me write tip of nose next is epiglottis now let me tell you what is this already you have done in 7th or 8th standard epiglottis but let us revise it quickly epiglottis is a flap of cartilage which is there in your throat it is hanging from the top this epiglottis it is made up of cartilage and its function is to close food pipe when we are to close vent pipe when we are eating food so that food particle cannot enter into vent pipe which may lead to choking okay so this epiglottis is made up of cartilage next is rings of trachea trachea is vent pipe Have you ever thought 
our windpipe, you know, in the nasal cavity and in the trachea, there is mucus. Due to this mucus, when we exhale out, during exhalation, when air is forced out, the walls of trachea can collapse. This is not happening because in the trachea, in the windpipe, there are rings of cartilage which keep it open all the time just for safety sake. So, these rings of trachea, these rings of windpipe are also made up of cartilage. Next, at the lower end of ribs. lower end of ribs also there is layer of cartilage it is also there in the intervertebral disc now what is vertebral column you know that vertebral column is your backbone which is made up of 33 small bones and each bone of vertebral column is called vertebrae so intervertebral disc means between each vertebrae there is a layer of cartilage to avoid friction of bones Similarly, it is present at the end of long bones. So, I hope this full topic of cartilage is clear to you about the structure, about the occurrence. Now, what about the function of cartilage? Cartilage's basic function is to provide flexibility and support to different body parts. It also smoothens the surface at the joint. This is all about cartilage. Okay, dear students. Now we are going to study about bone, which is another type of specialized connective tissue. See, bone is strong, it is highly vascular, means it has good supply of blood vessels. Cartilage, well, in the matrix of cartilage, there was no blood supply, but in bone, it has good amount of blood supply. And it is very strong and rigid. You know why so? Because it is highly mineralized. Bone is mineralized. Actually, it's, let us make a diagram. Mineralized means it has abundance of minerals. It has minerals of calcium and magnesium. See, matrix of bone is also made up of protein as the matrix of cartilage. But here in the bone, matrix is arranged in the form of concentric rings. Here we have just showed distributed uh, matrix. Here we are going to make these concentric rings. These are actually matrix of bone okay so this matrix which is arranged in the form of concentric rings this is called lamin what do we call it lamin special name is given to the matrix which is in the form of rings in the lamellae you find round round structures again randomly distributed you found round structures which is called lacunae as we have done in cartilage also, fluid filled spaces were there in the matrix. Here also, fluid filled spaces were there in the matrix of bone, which is called lamellae actually, that is called lacunae. Inside lacunae, there are bone cells, these are called osteocytes or osteoblasts. So these are the bone cells. Clear? Now, these lacunae, they have special network around themselves. They have special network. You find like this, thread-like structures. This network is called canaliculi. Now, let me tell you its function. Canaliculi, which is there around lacunae. This canaliculi performs special function. It enables bone cells or lacunae to communicate to each other. The bone cells which are there in the lacunae, how do they communicate? How do they receive nutrition? How do they get oxygen? And how do they eliminate waste? This is done by canaliculi. I hope this structure is clear to you. Let me uh, quickly uh, tell you again. These ring-like structures are the matrix. In the, matrix uh, mat in the bone, matrix is not scattered. It is arranged in the form of rings known as lamellae. In the lamellae, round round structures you find which are actually fluid filled spaces which have bone cells. These are called lacunae. At the cells, the bone cells which are present in the lacunae, they are called osteocytes or osteoblast. Okay? Now, let us discuss about the functions of bone. See, it's
it's very common function of bone is to give sh uh, shape and support to the body so first function of bone in the body is to give shape and support it also anchor the muscles that anchor means flexes muscles okay it gives sh uh, shape and support it fixes muscles and it is also storage site of minerals storage site of minerals or like calcium and manganese and one most important function which is performed by the bony structures by the bones in the body is to provide protection to the delicate and soft internal organs just imagine there is no helmet like structure around your brain i'm i'm talking about skull then brain can get easily damaged so in order to protect brain there is skull similarly in order to protect lungs and heart there is rib cage i mean to say all the delicate all the vital organs of the body they are protected by bones so another function is it protects vital organs of the body so this is all about the structure and functions of bone i hope you have no doubt with skeletal connective tissue Now now see catch you soon in the next video thank you